Hi there, I'm JTC Live. And I'm Wet Magic. And welcome to Synergy Week. We're content creators from the YouTube platform, and today we are talking to you about potential synergies in Vermintide 2. In preparation for Synergy Week, we have a couple of questions here to answer. And the first one is, why is Synergy important? Now, I think the obvious answer to that is that at its core, Vermintide is really a team-based game. The game was designed to be played with four separate people at once. So unless your name is Core or Choco B, you're not going to be able to do absolutely every single thing. So in order to cover for those inherent weaknesses that you're going to have within your class, you need to have different kinds of synergies between the people you're playing with to cover those weaknesses. Synergies also allow players to get the most out of what they're running, whether that be a weapon or an ultimate ability. The classic example is Witch Hunter Captain and Pyromancer. Witch Hunter is great for synergies. He boosts the entire team's crit chance. This helps Pyro out tremendously, as she can only get a certain amount of crit chance on her own, but when boosted by Witch Hunter Captain, that helps out her ult, the Blazing Echo, tremendously, and she can do much more damage. Now, of course, Witch Hunter Captain and Pyromancer are not the only synergies that exist within Vermintide. In fact, there are a lot more that exist depending on how you build your team comp and depending on what different classes you run. In my opinion, there are three different kind of synergies that exist within Vermintide depending on the classes that you run. The first of which I would call a passive role. A passive role synergy doesn't really matter what specific class you're playing, but depends more on the role that they fill. For example, Foot Knight and Waystalker synergize well together because Foot Knight is a tank and Waystalker is a special killer. Tanks are able to clear the way and make room for the special killer to do their job, hence the fact that Foot Knight and Waystalker can synergize well together. An active role synergy is a little more specific, as it's dependent on the way you play within your specific class role, as well as how you choose to play a specific career. For example, anyone who has played Shade knows the unfortunate event of using your ult to backstab a boss, only to have it run off in a different direction far, far away from you, and by the time you catch up to it, it's already way too late. Hence, Ironbreaker and Shade synergize well together, as the Ironbreaker can hold the boss steady for the Shade to backstab, allowing her to get full usage of her ultimate ability. And then the active build synergy is probably the one everyone is most familiar with utilizing a specific career's abilities and talents to complement another career's ability or talents. An example of this is Sister of the Thorn and Warrior Priest. As Sister's increased healing passive synergizes incredibly well with Warrior Priest's From Fury Fortitude talent. Throw on Boon of Shalia on top of that and you'll be healing for massive chunks of HP anytime the Warrior Priest kills something. Does every class or role have a potential synergy? The answer to this question is yes. Vermintide 2 has a wide variety of different careers, and they all do vastly different things. So all it really takes is just knowing what one or two or more careers do or specialize in to understand how a synergy would work between them. Some examples of synergies include Foot Knight and Outcast Engineer. Outcast Engineer is a really high DPS type career. He can do insane monster damage and has pretty good horde clear, but he's a bit squishy and needs some babysitting. This is why Foot Knight is perfect to be paired alongside with him. Not only can he guard him from the hordes uh, that straggle through elites, but his talent Comrades in Arms gives the Outcast Engineer a large amount of damage reduction while also boosting his power and helping his damage a little bit. The second example would be Sister of the Thorn and Pyromancer. Sister of the Thorn running a deep wood staff can individually lift the specials that appear as you are running through a map. Pyromancer can kill these specials, which will proc her talent of deathly dissipation, allowing her to cast endlessly no overheat for 10 seconds, thereby upping her damage by quite a bit. She also has a talent called the Bonded Flame, which gives her a bunch of temp health when she ults. At full health, this temp health will be transferred to Sister of the Thorn, which helps to keep her alive. These two are pretty good together. My third synergy example involves Witch Hunter Captain and Handmaiden. As previously mentioned, Witch Hunter Captain boosts everybody's crit chance. Well, this also works on Handmaiden when she's running a power from pain. They can dash through a horde to get a bunch of crit chance and get boosted by Witch Hunter Captain. Subsequently, her passive stamina regen aura helps with Witch Hunter Captain's castaway talent, or bigger stamina regen and more push attacks. Speaking of Witch Hunter Captain, both Shade and Witch Hunter Captain have a passive ability that allows them to insta-kill enemies, which is based off of crit chance. Witch Hunter Captain boosts the party's crit chance, in turn making her passive and his much more useful. 
Additionally, Witch Hunter Captain's ability is based on headshots, while Shade's is based on backstabs, making Witch Hunter Captain the perfect frontliner and Shade a perfect backliner and flank character. Zealot's entire build is based around damage reduction and temporary health. Mercenary complements him beautifully, as his shout boosts temp HP and stops it from decaying. And if you decide to run strike together or walk it off, you can also buff your zealot with extra attack speed and additional damage reduction. Merc is also a hard frontliner, which means that zealot won't be alone in his fighting and will have someone to fight back to back with at all times. Bounty Hunter's double-shotted talent allows him to melt bosses rapidly, and the largest boost he can get to his damage is through potions. A ranger veteran running Scavenger allows the Bounty Hunter to be stocked on potions for nearly the entire run, significantly boosting his damage. You could also go a step further and run a full support ranger veteran build. Scavenger, Proxy, Shrapnel, and Exhilarating Vapors, and you can really help make that Bounty Hunter shine. How much do synergies change based upon difficulty? Synergies do not change based upon difficulty, however, the need for them arises as you go higher. When playing on lower difficulties, your focus should not be on making synergies with other classes, but more on getting more comfortable with the base mechanics of the game and getting more familiar with them. Synergies are a very fun and very powerful aspect of the game. Now, today we've been discussing with you guys pretty much just duo synergy this entire time. However, synergies can be done with more than two careers. And in fact, on paper, it would be better to involve an entire team in a synergy, but only if everyone is down for that kind of thing. Remember, you could have the best team synergy in the world, but if somebody isn't comfortable with their role or having fun with it, then it won't be very effective. The best synergy always comes from a willingness to play the role as well as a desire to play it in the first place. 